Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to New London Police Department. Let's try a meeting. Nicer weather than we had last time, so as much to get through. Today, all right, so thank you all for coming again. My name is Marissa. I work with the New Lenox Fire District, and we wanted to have a day planned in our um, yearly calendar, I should say, to talk a little bit more about things for older adults to do, whether it's fitness or activities or just general information for you to know that we think would be really great. So today we have a panel of um, some important people here. <laughs> Uh, so we have the Park District, Will County Senior Services, as well as the library. So with that, I'm going to let them introduce themselves, and then they're going to tell you a lot of the different activities and events that they have going on in the New Lenox and Manhattan areas. Hi, I'm Kelly Manson. I am a Recreation Supervisor at the New Lenox Park District. Um, I mainly deal with active adults. Um, I do bus trips. I do early childhood and youth programming. Um, do you want us to introduce ourselves, or should I just all of us, or we go right in? You can. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to talk about some of our exercise activities that we have. We do offer quite a few. Um, one of them is chair yoga, and that is taught by Arlene Santiago, who, if you've gone to the National Falls Awareness event in the fall, she usually gives a demonstration. She's now going to be doing it two days a week. She's going to do Tuesdays and Thursdays, and that's from 1 to 2. Um, so we have the summer sessions starting up in June, so if you're interested in that. I also have uh, flyers with pricing, dates, times, and all sorts of details for a lot of uh, my classes. Um, I also do um, active adult exercise. That is a free program that is held at the Senior Center in the community room downstairs. They meet Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. This is free. Um, it's from 10 to 11, I believe. Yep, 10 to 11. And um, it is kind of like you, there's not an instructor teaching. It's to a tape. There's usually about 15 to 20 ladies that go, and um, they love it. So that's a good option, too. Um, also, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do Walk the Commons right here. We meet in front of the library. At 8.45, we walk for an hour. Um, you can walk at your own pace. You don't have to walk for the full hour, whatever you're comfortable doing. Um, that is every day until the fall, until September, every on um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And that one, um, unless it's bad weather, we won't walk. But other than that, we're, you'll find us there in front of the library. So join us for that. It's fun. We all talk and walk and you have a good time. Um, we also have some yoga classes that um, we got a new one. It's called Yin Yoga, and it is like a gentle flow, slower class. Um, it would be perfect for you guys, and it is anyone can do it at their own pace. It's for beginners, or you know, if you had experience, that's fine too. Um, we also have a half a yoga. Um, that's a little bit harder, but not, not hard. Just uh, one step up from the yin yoga. Um, but like I said, yin is new and it's really taken off um, with the adult community. Um, and then we also have a couple things. I just want to say we do advertise for Wayne in the back there. We put in our book about Tai Chi. I know he handed out a paper or brochure for you guys. Um, we do advertise, advertise that for him in our book. It is um, held at the senior housing community as well. So that's a very good program. A um, couple of other things that aren't exercise related that we do have going on um, is coloring club. That is, we've had men and women in the coloring club. We get a good turnout for that. We usually meet every other Wednesday um, right up here at 701 Haven. So if you like to color or you want to try it out, we have all the supplies. You just show up, we talk, we get coffee, you know, and um, it's a good program. It's from 1 to 2.30. So join us for that. And again, that one's free as well. We also, if we have anyone that plays instruments um, or you just want to come listen, we have Senior Jam. Um, that usually meets the first Thursday of the month. And you can either just come and enjoy. We have like a group of about 10 of them right now. 
but they're always looking for new members. They give you the sheet music you would need, and um, you could play an instrument, sing, whatever you do. Just come and listen. You can have a cup, cup of coffee and listen to our musicians. They're really, really good. Um, and one other thing, if I have any quilters, we do have a quilt club. We meet twice a month at um, the Senior Housing Center downstairs in the community room. And that is a group, we have about 11 ladies right now. Um, but again, it could be if you're a beginner, you don't, if you don't even know how to quilt, it's just a good time. And uh, right now we have a special going on, that's $10 for a year. So check out, I got books, pamphlets, I can pass out or you can come and see me at the end. And if you have any questions, let me know. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I don't know if you've ever heard the story about Bert. He'd gone fishing. He was standing there in the weeds and had the hook out there in the water. And uh, he's out enjoying the quietness of the moment. And he hears this little voice saying, pick me up. Hey, looking around, he can't see anybody with an eyesight of him. And again, he hears his voice, pick me up. And he looks down and it's a frog between his feet. It's a talking frog. And it says, pick me up. I'm a beautiful girl, and if you kiss me, I'll turn into this beautiful princess, and we can get married, and we can run off together. So he picks up the frog, puts it in his pocket, and starts walking away. She says, hey, I told you, if you kiss me, I'll turn into a beautiful princess, and we'll be happy ever, ever after together. He says, my, my dear, at my age, a talking frog is more valuable. <laughs> This is our life, right? Senior living. Talking frogs, misunderstandings, and asking people to repeat that while we're telling them our story. That is part of us, that it really is. And uh, I'm the executive director at Senior Services of Will County. We share Wayne and doing Tai Chi out here in New Lenox. We're excited to have him. He's deputized to many different places. And so he's got that reputation of getting the word out. Fantastic opportunity to just shut it down. We're doing a whole study on living a life of purpose. And part of that is the overstimulation of our environment. I don't have to convince you, right, Wayne? We've got to shut it down. And there are times where I've, I've had to just, I can't listen to the TV. I can't listen to the news. Both parties are messed up. That's my vote. And I, it just gets me angrier and angrier. And I finally just have to stop. I take time every morning to just shut myself down, close it down. These, this morning, oh, what a morning it was out there on my patio, just closing myself off, constantly feeling the wind, thinking about the day, smelling the fresh cut grass, just shutting it down. And then I get my car turned on the radio. <laughs> then I turn it right back off because I think, I don't want to hear that anymore. You know, Senior Service of Will County has been around 53 years. Back in Lyndon Johnson's day when the Older American Act was signed into law and uh, suddenly provided all sorts of resources and information. And that's our theme, that's our mission statement. At Senior Services, we're there to connect resources, information, services, and programs to those 60 and above to help them stay safe, healthy, and independent. So if you're here today, there's a real good chance that you're independent or you escaped and they're going to find you eventually. But we're glad to have you here. And we're here to support you in your life of independence with all sorts of programs. So a lot of things that Kelly was sharing that they do at the Park District, we do also. There are most of our stuff is housed at the Joliet Cedar Services Center, but we have locations all over Will County now. We're expanding our satellite network. We're in five different locations throughout Will County now. We have case managers that maybe you've met or know about that are they work in the background. People don't even know them because they just do their job, come to a home of a senior that needs extra help and needs assistance. Have you ever heard of Meals on Wheels? If you ever raise your hand, you've heard of it. Right, Meals on Wheels. So we qualify people to go into the Meals on Wheels program. So that's one of the things that people know about us and don't really necessarily know connecting the dots. But we also have a program we call Safe at Home. I don't know how many of you can see that, but can some of you see the picture on here? Uh -huh. Do you recognize? Yep. Yes. S and H green stamps. Yeah. Yeah. 
How many went and took a book in at one point in your life? Yep. Went to the Redemption Center, turned in those SMH degree stamps in the books, in the pads, and then you come out with something that was truly valuable. <laughs> SNH Green Stamps. Well, for us, SNH stands for Safe at Home. That's our home maintenance program. We want to keep seniors safe, healthy, and independent. And if you can stay in your own house, isn't that the best opportunity, right? You may have little or no cost left on that mortgage, and this is a good place. You know it, you know your neighbors, you know where you shop, it's all figured out, right? You want to stay there as long as possible, but something goes wrong. All this rain going on, maybe you discovered a new spot in your roof you didn't know you had. And no, it's not a sunroof, it's a leak. And you, you've got to get somebody to fix it. Now I'm going to guess, most of you here have somebody. You say, that's who I call. I got that covered if I got this or I got that. But I'm going to tell you, there's going to be a time where you call and uh, that person's not available. Or they came out and didn't do such a good job last time. We don't uh, refer this out. Our program is our own technicians who come to your home who are know exactly how to work in your environment and help do those repairs you can no longer do for yourself or you're concerned you can't afford to pay for. And we are working with Will County so for those who are and you may know somebody this may not apply to anybody in the room but if you know somebody who's financially in tough shape but you know they need help with something in their house. We had a, a, a couple, uh, the, the wife, uh, they are both seniors. The wife was, had MS, she confound to a wheelchair. They lived out in Moni. They, they went through an entire winter, four months here just a year ago. Four months with a tarp as a roof. Now I'm not talking about a tarp over some loose shingles. I'm talking about a tarp that went over no shingles or plywood remaining, just the, the roofing uh, joists or whatever, the, what is that called? Framing. What? The frame is good enough. The what? Framing. The yeah. framing. All it was was that peak with nothing in between. Mm -hmm. They put a tarp over that and tried to live in that. They did that for four months before it came to our attention. And it came to our attention because we were working with Guardian Angel who said, we had a person out in that neighborhood you guys have got to go out and take a look at this. Today, code enforcement calls us and says, Barry, Mick, if, if, we're going to have to evict these people if, unless you guys can help them. Can you send somebody out? And they don't have the money, but we've got relationships with Will County Board who says, we'll write the check. You go take care of these people. We'll get it done. And then there's some of you are sitting here saying, ah, money's not my problem. I'm afraid of having somebody in my house. And that's legitimate. When my mother called and said, I was living in Denver at the time, she lived out here in Tilly Park, she called and said, Barry, we had a little fire. I said, wait a minute, how do you have a little fire? <laughs> Sounded pretty serious to me. So the more I'd listened to her, the more I'd talk, it was a fire right by the furnace, gone up through the roof, gone through the ceiling, went through the roof, and everything else was saved, so that's good. But then they had a guy knocking on the door saying, I can take care of your roof repair for you, ma'am. And I'll give you the best price, nobody will beat my price. She says, okay. She's telling me this story. And I said, so everything is good? She says, great. The guy did the work, put the shingles on, it looks great. I said, really? She said, you replaced the whole roof. Really? A good price? Yes. Wow, okay. So I came home for Christmas. I walked out in the backyard and looked at that roof. We were talking about well, the framing, you know, that peak framing that you have? You could see the plywood bending down between each one of those. You know? He probably used quarter inch plywood because it was cheap. My mother didn't know better and he took advantage of her. And I don't know what she eventually paid for that roof, but I'll guarantee you she paid too much. Either it was in materials or in the labor, the whole thing, but she didn't know any better. We've gone out and we have done work on homes that were repaired, repaired by home advisor, you hear advertise. Yeah, because they use people. People are used, and then people, do, do you try to call these guys, where are they? They're gone. They're, they're not in business anymore. We've been around 53 years, and we're still here. And when you make that call, and you need some help, and, and, and if you could afford to pay it, then we're going to charge you. If you can't afford to pay it, we work through the county and try to do it, and we do a form, because the county requires it, 
You have to be a, a full-time resident in that house. You have to own it. Well, or you can be paying a mortgage company. I know how that goes. You have to have your taxes paid up on time. But we can help. We can help. Here's the big lesson here. Don't assume when you leave here, oh, they can't cover my situation. Call us. I've got these up here. And here's the list. Let me give you this. I know you're selling it. This is a big commercial, but don't we have a lot of time here to film? Mm -hmm. right. good. Sure. Water heaters, doorknobs. We had a lady calling. She had had her water heater replaced a couple of years ago and needed to be replaced again. Isn't that sad? Eighteen hundred dollars. You know how much we paid to, to do a to do a water is like six hundred dollars. That includes the water heater. It's crazy. I did my own water heater when I was able to haul it around. Now I call Mick, <laughs> save it home because I qualify. Yes. Doorknobs, locks, faucets, toilets, furnaces, air conditioning, garbage disposal, garage door openers, grab bars, handrails, critical stuff, laminate flooring. That house I was talking to you about, Moni, we went and put in a whole new roof on. We worked with, Hab we coordinated it because we had to have help. We had Habitat for out there. We had community service council people out there. We had a whole community rebuilding a roof on that house to keep those people safe and healthy. And when I went and took a tour of that after it was done, what I was shocked about is that when I walked from room to room to room in that house, no two floors ever matched. You either stepped up or you stepped down every time you went to a different room in that house. Tough situation. But when you're a senior and you don't have a lot of extra money, and you don't know who you can give the money to and trust them. If something doesn't work, guess what? You can call us and we come back out and make sure it gets right, done right. We make sure it gets done right. So we're there, we're air advocates on it. So Safe at Home, a great program that we want to make sure. And here's the other program, Needing Help. And this is a real simple card, has the main line number for our case management. So this may be for you or somebody you care about. Take one to give to somebody because what we do is we can come over there and talk to them. We had a call for safe at home. We went to the, our technician went to the house, they couldn't open the door because this is a hoarding, a hoarding situation. It was just a path through that house. They could, he couldn't even get it. He thought he was going there to repair, repair a faucet. He did, and then came back and said, we gotta do some more for these folks. This lady is in trouble. And so our case management team came in together. It was right here in New Lenox. We contact New Lenox Police. We work together with them. And we formed now a hoarding task force because this is becoming a growing problem in Will County. And we pulled it together. This is why senior service should be here. You need somebody that's an advocate that speaks about not just, well, we just do one thing. We, do, we cover it all. We have great relationships with park districts and with libraries, opportunities to work. And you'll hear more from Michelle about the library. But this is, we believe this is part of our role, is to connect the dots so you can make one phone call and get the resources that you need, answer those questions. I also brought here a magnet. I love refrigerator magnets with phone numbers on it. I can slap it on there. It has our main number. It has the senior helpline, which is the one where we're talking about if you need some help. And it could be anybody, it could be somebody that you know, uh, they're, maybe they're not eating or you don't think they have food in their house. Give us a call so we can help get involved with that. And that's the senior helpline. And then our home repair, our safe at home numbers, all three numbers are on here. So next time you, you, next time you have a need, shame on you for not calling us because we can help. And if we can't, we'll refer you to somebody we know is specifically designed and around for you. One more handout I have here available, and then we'll talk a little bit more about what we do as a community. But this is a little bit of information about Will County seniors. So you hear a lot of the major news outlets talking about blah, 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 you know. But here in Will County, by the end of this year, there will be 100,000 people in Will County, 65 and older. So if you as a senior had trouble getting resources and help today, it's only going to get harder because there's more and more because you got the young boomers like me slipping in there and you got the older seniors who are still with us. My father-in-law is 98, my mother-in-law is 95, they're still with us and their brains are still clear as glass. Physically, they have, they have struggles. They can't, he, he was always the guy who did all his own stuff, fixed everything. He was a church treasurer for 25 years. He knows all those things but he still can't help himself the same way he used to be able to. And we're all on that path, right? It's one thing, even these young people standing in the back and up here with me, we're all, we're all going the same way. We're all getting older, every one of us. So make the plans now. 
60% of those who are 65 and above have at least two chronic health conditions. Diabetes, heart condition. I had open heart surgery two years ago. What? I said to my doctor, I'm not obese. I don't run around wild with women. You know, I said, I'm a good guy. And the doctor says, Barry, you're the kind of guy we talk about at conferences. We can't figure this out. But I did. Changed my life. I lost 35 pounds. I, I, I'm a whole different person. And those cookies back there sound so good. 40% of those 65 in Will County are obese. 25 are clinically obese, 25%. 28% of seniors in Will County live alone. And when you're alone, you can become lonely. And then you can suffer with depression. You need to get out. You need to get involved in the park district. Get to the library. Do, do, do. Stay active. I'm going to close with one last story. Al Stalwitz. He was in my church, 80 years old, said, Barry, I do 25 push-ups every morning. I said, wow, I don't think I can do that many myself. He said, I have to do it, because if I stop moving, I'm going to die. And to this day, I don't know where, where he's at, but he was still alive when I last saw him. He, and he was driving women crazy, because he was driving them to church. And they were going crazy in his car. But Al was still vibrant, still engaged, still alive and enjoying life, and he credits it to his uh, push-up. So thank you for your time. Please contact us. Yeah, we have bingo still once a month. We have Tai Chi classes in there with Wayne and his crew. We still have line dancing, one of the packed out rooms and out there. And you may have heard the rumor we're looking to build another or find another location because we want to expand our activities. We're planning on building an auditorium that will seat seven to 800 people and just increase it. Ballroom dancing every week, classes before the, 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 the ballroom dance so you can come and enjoy and have a great time and listen to music you might actually like. So thank you so much for your attention, everybody. Good. Hello everyone. I don't have a great story to start with like Barry did. I, I will say um, my name is Michelle Krosvik. I'm the director of the New Lenox Public Library. And I'm Tana Petrov. I'm the adult services manager at the library and I recognize a couple of people so hello. <laughs> uh, we had a really long commute here today so bear with us. We're a little tired because um, we're right next door. But um, um. Um, anyways, uh, we are here today to uh, tell you about some stuff we, we are doing. Um, and uh, like Barry said, you want to take, uh, you want to use those resources you have, right? You're paying your tax dollars for your library, so we want to make sure you're getting your money's worth of what you're paying for already. So we want to let you know what we offer at the library that's tailored to you. Um, we're going to start with our guide. If you want to do the Vanna White and show everyone the guide sure. here. Here is our program guide with uh, programs and activities for the summer. Yep, for adults, teens, and kids. So we have some that are tailored to um, seniors. We And we know some of you out there are grandparents as well. So you can come and bring those lovely kiddos <coughs> to the library to have them participate in our upcoming summer learning challenge. Previously, we called it the summer reading program, but we want people to be learning throughout the year. So we kind of tweak the name. So you'll hear summer learning challenge, and that starts what? June 3rd, June 3rd, and it starts with a um, wonderful uh, program. Um, we have um, a program that is called uh, Kindness Rocks, um, and that means that you can come to the library and with your uh, families, with your grandchildren, you can paint, color, rock, and you can write a positive message. Um, something like, have a wonderful day, or you are smart, you are beautiful, um, and then you can um, just take the rocks with you and uh, spread them out to the community for someone to find the rocks. So uh, to just make their day a little bit more positive. So spread out a little bit kindness. Um, that's our kickoff yes. program so that's on the, June 3rd. Right. So we're doing that with some ice cream, which, you know, who doesn't love ice cream? And we have the kindness rock. So like Tana said, spread some happiness, some joy in, in your own communities, which is pretty fun. Um, and um, if you're interested, um, you can take a look at the uh, summer um, learning challenge, the locks. Um, they have the activities on the back, 
and um, for each activity that you complete, uh, you qualify for uh, an entry for one of our grand prizes at the end of Summer Learning Challenge. We have some wonderful prizes, so um, stop by at the desk after the presentation or at the library and we can tell you more about it. Yeah, a lot of times people think the Summer Learning Challenge is just for kids, but we want the adults to be involved and there's, like she said, there's some great prizes and you guys are getting a sneak peek on these because these technically aren't available till June 3rd, so you're getting a special preview pass to bring home. We can't collect them until it starts, but um, you can at least see what kinds of things to do. And it's not just reading books, it's learning about everything we offer, attending programs, um, just using everything we offer at the library, which you'll kind of be amazed at all the things we have there. So those are up here if you'd like to take them with as a special sneak peek. And um, the summer reading program ends with another event. We have a petting zoo. So um, the, um, the last day of um, summer reading program is July 27th. So it's an um, event for um, all ages, not only for children. Um, so come and enjoy the program, petting zoo. So that will be the end of our uh, summer reading program. Because who doesn't love petting some furry adorable animals, right? Um, and that's all in here. Um, do you want to talk about the handout here? Can you yes, go? absolutely. All right, so I'll go ahead and start out. We have these great um, handouts here, which we've taken some uh, activities and programs from the guide that are tailored to older adults. And uh, the first one we'd like to talk about is on Wednesday, June 5th. And that is a utility bill clinic with the Consumers Utility Board. So basically, if you want to bring some of, you, some of your utility bills to the library, they're going to have professionals there that can answer questions, that can go over your bill, can spout out anything that might be a little, my word I like to use is wonky, you know, is, is there something going on with your bill that you should be concerned about? So that's a great partnership we're doing for, and that's uh, June 5th. And it's a free program. It's free. All of, yep. Yes, all of the programs at the library are free. Um, and then um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about um, our seniors' coffee. Um, we meet every, um, the first Thursday of um, every month and from 10.30 until noon. Um, we do have about 20, 22 um, seniors participating in that program. Um, they come to the library, they socialize, they read a magazine, a newspaper, um, we offer refreshments, um, board games, so it's a really fun program and you are more than, more than welcome to come and check it out next month. Um, again, it's um, uh, the first the Thursday of uh, the month. And in addition to socializing, we also offer um, the sup supplement, the socializing, we also offer some programs. Last time we had Medicare seminar, uh, before that, we had internet safety, so those programs are specifically um, uh, created, uh, you know, to serve the needs of older adults. So um, please come and check it out next time. So and speaking of that, um, something you touched upon was um, fraud. So we actually have on June six, uh, we have a seniors protecting your investments from fraud. So that's always a concern, um, I think, with everyone, but. Um, someone from, it'll be an overview of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and its mission and again those red flags to look out for. So that's um, on the bottom of the front side of the handout. So we're going to flip it over and we're going to talk about sure. another great yes. club we have. We do have enough um, yes. handouts for everyone so feel free to grab some of them. Um, genealogy Club, um, I um, want to tell you a little bit about it. Um, this group uh, meet the second Tuesday of the month, um, 6 until 8 o'clock, and um, we are actually next year, in January 2020, um, it has been 10 years since we created at the new Lenox Public Library, the Genealogy Club, so we are already planning a huge party, a huge celebration for next year. Um, and I encourage you to come and check it out. Um, we can tell you all about the genealogy databases that we offer to the library. Um, and we also uh, meet, we have presenters who specialize in genealogy resources. And they can talk to you about how to do family research. Um, you can also share family stories, successful stories and things like that. So it's a really fun um, yet informational and educational program. 
um, and um, like again every Tuesday um, at 6 to 8 p.m. so you're more than welcome to come. And if you've ever been to the library about genealogy, Pam helps run that and she is, yes. she is amazing. We're so happy to yes. have her on And staff. in addition to that, Pam, um, she also offers one-on-one -on -one instruction. So if you um, need her to help you um, a little bit with your family research, um, you can schedule an appointment with her for about an hour, an hour and so. And she can walk you through and show you all of the databases and kind of like navigate you and help you with your family research. So. And those databases can be costly if you purchase those yourself. So if you come to the library and use them, that's a big yes. cost savings there. Um, another program we have, just two more on this little handout, um, is a program at the end of June, Wednesday, June 26th, <gasps> about the Beatles. Who doesn't love the Beatles? I think they're kind of timeless. Everyone loves the Beatles. Um, so it's going to be a presentation with audio and visual content and uh, from Liverpool all the way through Beatlemania. And so questions and participa participation are encouraged. And you do need to register for that one, but it is also free of charge. And then finally, on this handout, we have... Um, we have another um, similar program, um, Heather, a musical conversation. Um, several months ago, we had a musical about Beth Davis and John Crawford, and the presenter was terrific. Um, she did an excellent job uh, with the musical, and then the community um, asked for more presentations and more musicals from her. Um, so she's coming back and her program is um, scheduled to be on July 25th, um, 6.30 to 7.30 and um, it is about a, um, um, this um, um, writer and producer from, uh, from Hollywood and um, it's going to be a, a musical that will fit into our Summer Learning Challenge team which is show time at your library. Um, so feel free to come and enjoy a musical. So I know we threw a lot at you just now, but that's why we have the handout. So make sure to come up and take advantage of that. Um, another big program, we, for the first time last year, we had something called Maker Day. And Maker Day was highlighting uh, community partners, anything that you can tinker, do it yourself, DIY. Um, I know some of the people I saw at that program. So we have a bookmark about it for the date. Um, if you are a, what I like to call, subject matter expert in an area, we have a former board member, Carl Fosna, who is an excellent woodworker. He helped us out last year by displaying his woodworking skills. Um, but if you have a skill and you'd like to highlight that, or you know someone who has a business that has a skill um, that would be fun for people to learn about, um, we are looking for this form right That in. is the form. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. So this is the form that if they're interested, if you're interested or know somebody who's interested, we want people from the community to highlight themselves and their skills and their abilities. So if you'd like to participate with us, we have the form that we're taking submissions for. It's not until September 14th. So we got a little while, but we want to plan ahead. Um, so that's going to be a fun day. That's going to be from 1 to 4 p.m. Um, September 14th in the fall and I, I'm excited because we did it for the first time last year and it was a success. We're making it a little more bigger this year so we're excited. My goal eventually, I always tell staff this, I don't know when this will happen, she's chuckling, uh, it's like how to do an oil change in the parking lot, you know, life skills and stuff like that. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens but that's our um, maker day. Do you want to talk about oh, wow. Um, we have our leader booklet here that explains um, everything about uh, homebound delivery services. Um, if you are in the need of homebound delivery services, just call us at the library or if you know someone, uh, please take a little flyer, everything's explained. But basically what this program is, uh, homebound delivery services, we do have a homebound delivery services coordinator and um, she will contact you once you call the library and she will chat um, with you about um, your um, reading interests, what you like to read, um, and if you'd like to see a movie or if you'd like to listen to an audio book. And then she kind of matches your interest with what we offer at the library. Um, and we do have bags, um, volunteers deliver the bags with books and audio books and DVDs to your home. Um, so again, if you know someone or if you need home, homebound delivery services, call us at the library or again, take one of the flyers here. And it's something that we're really proud, um, you know, it benefits the community and um, 
you have questions, let us know. So yeah, and that's regardless of age. It could be temporary, it could be permanent. So I know my mom had some foot surgery recently and she couldn't get out of the house for a few weeks. So that would have been something great. So if it's temporary, we can do that. If it's on a continual basis, we can also do that. And we have all ages in the program. Um, I think we're, Barry actually was asking me about this earlier and I almost yes. forgot about this, so I thought mm -hmm. I'd mention it to this group. Um, we have a digital media lab at the library. If you have not visited or used it, um, you can go to our website to see what that's all about or just stop in and see it. Um, one of the great things we have that people take advantage of is um, the ability to take either slides or old VHS tapes or um, reels of film and we can convert those to digital format to save them for you because if you let them go they, they will not last forever um, so the ability to do that you can preserve your memories Barry was talking about his college days right yes. Yes, he's got a reel from his college days he liked to share with his grandkids so um, there's when they're old enough yeah <laughs> you didn't tell me that part yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, so we have the ability to do that among other technology help and, and do you want to talk about one-on-one? -on sure. Um, we also offer one-on-one -on -one technology instructions. Um, so um, you can schedule an appointment with um, one of the librarians and on any technology topics. I mean if you'd like to create an email or if you'd like to learn a little bit more about our databases that we offer through the website or if you'd like to learn a little bit more about how to use the internet or how to create a Word document or something like that, um, you can schedule an appointment with us and then we take our time and we walk you through the process. Um, so um, yes, that is something in addition to the technology yeah. resources. Um, and then I think just a couple of other things, we have started to offer passport services at the library. So if you dislike going to the post office, you can come visit our friendly faces at the library. Um, we've actually had the post office say, hey, take, take more, they're sending them our way. So we're getting a, a lot of applications. So that's a newer service. So if you're looking to travel somewhere, you need a passport, we can assist you with that. Um, if you're part of a homeowners association and you want, one of, you want myself or another librarian to come speak to your homeowners association or senior group or whatnot about what the library offers, we're more than well, willing to go outside the building and kind of give a similar talk or anything in particular you want us to speak about um, we're willing to do that as well so know that we are here for you we're here to support you and um, our tagline for the library is inform enrich enlighten and we want to make sure that via these services our strategic plan and, and everything we do at the library follows that and that's for everyone all ages so um anything else to add that's about it all right i do have one thing i forgot to mention on uh, Monday, July 15th, we are hosting a Grandparent Me fishing event. It's $7 um, per pair, and if you have an additional grandchild that you want to bring, it's $4 for that one, and that includes like a hot dog lunch um, and a dessert. So um, it's a really good time, and try to come out. Oh, oh sorry. Right. I don't know if you mentioned the bus tours. Oh, the bus tours. Yeah, I do have a lot of bus tours. Um, some of our summer ones are full, but I'm working on fall right now. I'm always open to suggestions, so if anyone has a suggestion on somewhere that you guys would like to go, um, let me know and I could try to plan a trip there. Um, one that is really popular and I was able to secure additional tickets was one called Rick Lindy and the Wild Ones. They are an international um, touring group and they do classic retro rock of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. So that one um, is Thursday, August 15th, and it's $49, and that includes your transportation, your show, and your lunch. So I have a lot of really good trips. Um, we're also doing one in the fall to Florida. We go through Diamond Travel. Um, so that is an eight night trip. That leaves Saturday, September 28th, and you get back October 6th. Um, that one, if you're sharing a room, it's eight seventy nine dollars a person, and that includes a lot of stuff. It's a really good price. Um, so think about that. We try to offer those twice a year. And if you had a suggestion on a trip or somewhere you'd like to be you know, going, please let me know. We're always looking for suggestions. Or if anybody has a talent for cards, something like that, and you want to kind of get a group together, 
let me know about that too if you have experience i'm not a big card player whether it's pinochle or you know some of these games that a lot of people don't know things about um let me know and i can try to arrange a group for you guys Yeah, and we also take suggestions for programs. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are interested in a topic, if you want to see a program, let us know. You speak, we'll listen. That's right. <laughs> I mean, we're always trying to make you know programs for you guys better, more relevant, things you guys actually want to do. So you know, don't be afraid to come to me with ideas that you have or things that you think are lacking or not being offered that you'd like to see. So we're, we're always willing to work with you guys and, you know, come talk to me afterwards if you got something. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank we you. truly appreciate it. If anybody has any questions, we'll go ahead and we can take them at this time. Mm -hmm. If not, there's still cookies and fruit in the back. <laughs> Please help yourself. Yeah, or come um, talk to us if you yeah, want to come on say something us privately. And talk to them for a few minutes as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank Don't you. forget to grab flying. Triad works to improve the quality of life for seniors by providing an opportunity for the exchange of information between public safety, social services, and seniors. There are no membership papers to fill out or fees to pay. Everyone is welcome to attend. Each month, we present a guest speaker on subjects that keep you informed and up to date on the latest scams, frauds, and other criminal activities. We also discuss safety issues, home preparedness, and staying healthy. Triad meets the fourth Thursday of every month. Contact the Newlax Police Department at 815-462-6100 for more information.